Hello guys, I'm Spicy Bill and this is going to be a review on a Bandai High Grade Gundam The Origins HG Go 144 scale gun tank early type. So technically this is Char's first mobile suit. Uh, this was used back when he was originally known as Castle Daikun before uh, he take on uh, various, a whole bunch of uh, random aliases. <laughs> yeah, Char is not his real name. Believe it or not, uh, you have to watch the uh, Gundam The Origin to know how he got that name. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Here we have the sealed box. Obviously here we have Caswell. And we have uh, Artesia, uh, also known as Sailor Mass. Yeah, another alias. And here we have the pictures of the gun tank. It's actually very nice. Uh, I can't believe I waited this long to build this kit. This is actually super nice. Um, I did saw the review done by um, uh, Days World, and I was uh, very impressed. So I decided I want to, you know, uh, well, actually, one of my one of my uh, viewers decided he want me to uh, build this kit for him, and I agreed to it. So um, end up doing quite a bit of work on this kit to uh, make it look uh, per his request. So here we go. Uh, this uh, this kit was originally released in 2015, but now you know uh, they switch over to the new uh, packaging and stuff like that. Says so Bandai Spirits, and they did away with the uh, uh, the price tag. So uh, I think this kit costs around. It's a big box, but believe it or not, this thing only costs about 17.99, something like that. So yeah. Obviously, I picked this up at Tatsu Hobby, www.tatsuhobby.com, my local uh, Gumpla hobby shop. Here we have the stickers. Uh, you have a couple options. You can make unit A1, B1, C1, C2, C3, C4, whatever. Uh, the label, you just stick it right here. So, yeah. All right. And you can also ch choose the color. You can have the uh, blue strap that goes around this forearm section or you can have the red strap or the green strap that's what I went for okay let's go ahead and take a look at the instruction manual it's very nice uh, the, all these origin kits uh, or the go kits they don't give you the stats for the mobile suits like unlike HUC and this is all in Japanese because this was made back in uh, 2015 Everything uh, after 2017 is like Japanese and English and here's all the placement for the stickers uh, The kit itself is very easily assembled and uh, I kind of went with a custom uh, color scheme for this kit because uh, well obviously uh, the sponsor John requested that I do something uh, you know uh, Do something to his you know something that he wanted so anyway all right so for level over parts we do have this whole entire backpack section right here you get a one extra one of these um, you don't actually have the right poly cap to attach it to the backpack but you can use any of the uh, the stuff that you come with to you know emulate it or something like that I just stuck uh, one of the level over poly caps in there I think it will work let me see it's not the same one, but I think it should work. Uh, let's go ahead and try it. You know what? Probably put this on another kit. This is probably good for kit bashing. I don't think I want to take this thing apart. But anyway, it looks really nice. So basically what I did to it is uh, for the first time ever, I actually did a wash on this uh, kit. I usually don't do washes on kits, but he asked me to do it, so... So I did like some, uh, some black paint on the th threads. I think that actually turned out looking okay. I'm not the best at doing like weathering and stuff like that. So, you know, I just, uh, <laughs> I think it looks okay. I, I, I prefer my kits looking, uh, you know, super clean. But this is what you wanted. So there we go. And f uh, you can actually separate these parts right here. So that's actually pretty cool. So that's something very interesting. And you can see a lot more uh, wash on the front section right there. I uh, painted the uh, cannon right here, the machine gun. 
and you can also open the hatch right here this is actually pretty cool it's kind of well it's not really that difficult you can see that that opens up very nicely I should probably panel line the inside here uh, yeah I'm probably gonna do that okay and then uh, did a little bit of wash right here uh, we have some uh, very decent articulation right there the uh, body can actually rotate 360 degrees and it can move a little bit side to side so that's actually pretty good all right I also painted these uh, missiles or maybe the grenades I don't know what they are I think they're missiles so I painted that looking really nice uh, the cannons can articulate so you can have it firing straight forward or you can have it like you know firing at the angle like that all right the head is okay you can actually rotate at 360 so that's very nice got the antenna right here and got the clear visor clear visor right there uh, you do have to paint in the red camera right there if you want it to be accurate to the box art so I just painted that using red paint looking very nice okay and then uh, the arm has articulation it's basically a hinge allow the arm to go perpendicular like that again I threw a little wash on this part I think the wash actually make this thing looks better yeah that actually looks pretty good it's I don't think you can actually achieve this look uh, using the panel liner marker so I think a wash would actually uh, be very beneficial that actually looks really nice okay anyway uh, we have the uh, bicep rotation right there and then we have the uh, double jointed elbow oops and this thing just pop off but anyway this is a uh, pop this back on here that okay and then you also have a little bit of articulation right there for this section uh, it's really not much you can go up and down that's it yeah also painted the tips of these barrels yeah I don't know if you can see it but there's a little bit of a I use the a tester gunmetal laser lacquer on the tips to make it look like you know it's like uh, the carbon buildup from the cannon fire overall this is a this is a pretty unique kit I really like it all right and uh, yeah let's take a look at some more paint work that I did to it all these are uh, metal laser lacquer right there on all the vents uh, metal laser lacquer gun metal on the back here and metal laser lacquer on the bottom for these uh, um, I think they're like exhaust fans or something like that for you know for cooling the uh, tank itself now, this thing is actually very neat I, 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 I definitely like it I might have to uh, get one for myself <laughs> yeah it's it's pretty cool all right um, I think that is pretty much it for uh, this review let me know what you guys think I'm just trying to uh, you know get more uh, kits into my uh, high grade go playlist I think right now there's 22 kits and I have about 13 right now yeah so there we go uh, I'm probably gonna have to get the Federation kits because I think I have pretty much all the Xeon stuff already okay so there we go this is the uh, well uh, this is the gun tank you have a couple options to display this guy you know you can have the arm firing the uh, machine gun and stuff like that and then you can have it fire the cannon just like the box art so it's definitely uh, very uh, very unique definitely not boring at all <laughs> this is pretty cool and then you can also have the uh, have it go up against the uh, uh, the Xeon mobile worker this thing got you know one, one of these guys got completely trashed by uh, sing mash uh, in the Xeon's mobile worker or something that was actually very interesting so anyway that's pretty much it for this review let me know what you guys think thanks for watching